this video we are going to discuss or we are going to look into the features that is being added in Odo 14. So in this video we will look into the feature with which you can see the forecasted report of the product in the sales module. So let's look into this feature. So let's jump into the sales module. So when you open the sales module itself, you can see the few changes and it's the tree view itself. So the view have made more attractive as well as informative and you can also assign the activities from the tree view itself. So from here you can assign your activities and you can also view all the activity assigns to each of your records. And here you can see the changes in the status. So these are some of the changes that is made in its view. Now let's look into the forecast report of the product. So for that, suppose we are creating a sale order. So let me create one of the sale order. For that, let me select one of my customer. And here you can provide the necessary details such as invoice address, delivery address, quotation template, expiration date of this quotation. And let me select one of the product in the order line. So suppose if I'm selecting my product called as cabinet with those. So I have ordered one quantity and corresponding price comes here. So now let me confirm this sale order. So once I confirm my sale order, you can see that is or you can view a forecasted report of the product is being created here. So moreover, it also show that is the expiry date of the quotations. So from here, you can see the expiry date of the quotation. And when you click on this forecasted report or this graph view, it will redirect you to the forecast report of that particular product. So here you can see for your product that is cabin with dough, it's on hand forecasted, forecasted plus pending as well as the on hand view value. And moreover, you can see the graph view of your product. So using this, what happened is this, this forecasted report, it's compute the inventory reports for the product that are detailed in a tabular form when you scroll down you can see that and from here itself you can send a replenish request for your product so when you click on this you can send the replenish order for your product so this is a new feature that is being added in odoo 40 sales module if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business Drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.